Good afternoon everyone a very warm welcome from Baby Bloom IVF team I am Dr Pujil and she is my dear nurse Serene and today we are going to answer all your doubts that you had asked how a frozen embryo transfer is done so once we do the opu and uh, the eggs are frozen the sorry the embryos are frozen after that we give a gap of 1 to 2 months and ask the patient to come on a day 2 day 2 means day 2 of periods after that we start estrogen to help the endometrium lining to develop so i would just like to show you this is a patient with a very healthy endometrium lining and you can see these three lines here okay this is called a triple layer endometrium and you can see the thickness is around 7 mm so in our center we generally give the embryo transfer once the thickness of the endometrium is more than 8 mm but some centers even prefer 7 mm So once the lady's endometrium is ready, we start progesterone, and according to the day of the embryo frozen, we give the embryo transfer. A good calculated uh, uh, embryo transfer and dating definitely improves the uh, IVF result. But it is patient's responsibility to take the medicines on time to increase the chances of success in IVF. Every medicine is very important. because the embryos are frozen and it is not an ovulation cycle during this process but the results are definitely higher with the frozen embryo transfer i hope this little video has helped you with some little information to increase your confidence in going ahead with your ivf cycle if you have any doubts you may contact us and our team would be very happy to help you out thank you very much